Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm glad you're here. I hope you can hear me okay. We're going to find out. Well, everybody seemed to enjoy my reaction to Kamala Harris, that ad she had out about men not being afraid of women or some such thing. So today I thought I would bring you a reaction to a woman shaving her head because she is upset about Trump getting elected. So we'll get right to it. Just woke up this morning feeling spicy. You guys feel spicy? Because I do. All right. I don't know how to use this thing. Let's see what happens. Is this cutting off hair? I'm going to have to cut it short on that. Buzz it down, right? I think that this is too... Oh, it's getting hair. Let's see here. Maybe I got to cut it. Here we go. Have I given up on America? Yes. Also giving up on coloring this hair because, right? Fuck coloring my hair. Fuck having my hair be long and luxurious. Fuck all that shit. Fuck being skinny. Fuck being hot. Fuck being all the things that the patriarchy wants us to be. Because. All right. Why does she associate long, luxurious hair and being skinny with being hot? She looks like she's, you know, in her age where she should know better. <laughs> where does she get this idea that long, luxurious hair and being skinny is associated with hot? Clearly, they don't give a shit about us. And I'm talking to you, too. Those of you ladies who have the internalized misogyny required to do what you did. She refers to the patriarchy a lot. I think one has watched too many episodes of The Handmaid's Tale. Minorities who are so scared of a woman in power that you'd rather cozy up to the white man. Just First of all, if you want a woman president simply because she's a woman, you're voting incorrectly. In case some crumbs fall off his plate so that you may eat from them. Yes, scraps. I don't know how to work this thing, but I'm on my way. I'm gonna figure it out. Okay, because this is taking too long. Here we go. Short hair we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, and she's now associating short hair with not being hot. I don't know that she's shaved it all off. I watched the whole video. I was kind of disappointed. I didn't see the end result. All she kept talking about was short hair, not shaved hair, not a bald head, but just short hair. So now she is also a short, associating short hair with some kind of anthem. I don't know. Here we go. We're cutting it off because fuck you. That's why. You think I'm crazy? Me too. I'm crazy. Just like all the women before me who were crazy. You're so fuck. Yes, I think you're crazy and you need help. I'm crazy. You know what? It's been a day. It's been a year. It's been nine years eight years whatever it may be around this time eight years ago it's one of the worst times of my life i don't know what happened to her but apparently eight years ago something tragic happened oh i guess that's when trump came into uh, it came into power i guess that's when trump was elected the first time that's when my life fell apart not because of this don't get too excited i'm just talking about regular life stuff stuff i talk about on here but trust me I understand. I've heard the message loud and clear. We all have. Now women are going to have to just. What's the message? Does she tell us what the message is? I don't think she does. She just goes on and rages about some idea that she has. And she doesn't tell us what it is. I don't think. Let's continue on. I refuse to participate. Sorry, if you're a man, I will not be responding to you. If you are a man, I will not be talking to you. I am going to be promoting the 4B movement from here on out. Care. I don't care. <laughs> what is the 4B movement? I had to look it up. According to Wikipedia, it started in South Korea during the mid to late 2010s, and the four tenets are... No sex with men, no giving birth, no dating men, no marriage with men. 
history. The term 4B emerged from Korean feminist circles on Twitter around 2017 to 2018. These groups articulated their principles on the Korean feminist wiki site FemiWiki, where they originally defined 4B as the motto of radical feminism, which means non-marriage, non-procreation, non-relationship, non-sex. <laughs> why is it called 4B? I need to know why it's called 4B, but we'll continue on with this lady. There's my hair, getting it all off. Probably painting a, a target on my back here, but whatever. At least I- No, you're painting a target on my back because now people who see me out in public are gonna think I'm a liberal crazy woman. I have never in my life been embarrassed to go out in public with my head like this, with my bald head. Never have I been embarrassed to go out in the public arena looking like this. I'm fine with it. I love it. I love the way I look. I feel comfortable. But now when I go out and about, I'm going to be afraid people are going to look at me and think I'm one of you. And I do not want that. So I'm going to have to buy a MAGA shirt or something. I don't know. And we'll get, oh, the other thing that I have a problem with is the people on the right, the conservatives, who are criticizing women like this, who are shaving off their head, instead of calling them out on certain things, they're only saying, well, now you're, now you're bald and Trump is still president. Like, bald is a bad thing. We need to get this out of our heads. Apparently, I thought we were more along... Uh, with beauty standards, breaking beauty standards, but I guess we're not. The most surprising one was, I think Riley Gaines put out on Twitter about this woman. Well, great, now you're bald and Trump is still president. Like bald was a bad thing. I, there were a lot more people like, stay away, if you're out in public, stay away from the bald women, they're all unhinged. So, mm. I live in a state right now that has a of rights still. And we voted out Brandon Williams. Fuck that guy back to Texas from whence he came. We also voted yes on Prop 1, which will codify into law some equal right protections in the New York State Constitution. So we did that at least. I don't know what the other fuckers are doing, but I don't know, man. We are embarrassing on the world stage. Oh, God. Oh, my goodness. Seriously? Oh, I've never had short hair before. Ever. It's kind of fun. All right, we're just going to keep chopping away here because this is literally going to take forever if I don't. Cut all the hair off. You know why? I'm not going to dye it anymore. I'm going to try and grow it out anymore. I'm not going to style it anymore. Fucking done. I will not be giving my money to the beauty industry anymore. I will not be giving my money to anyone that helps support misogyny and the patriarchy and keeping women down and making women think that we need to look a certain way or be a certain way or fuck you. Fuck you. Women, fucking stop dating men. Stop having sex with men. Stop talking to men. Divorce your husbands. Leave your fucking boyfriends. Leave them. They don't give a shit. What is wrong with her? Why does she associate this with Donald Trump? What bless her heart. She needs some help. All of these people need some help. I watched some of these videos of the young people losing their mind. When I was in my twenties, I wasn't worried about politics. My God, I don't, I don't understand this at all. I don't understand this shit about you. And I promise you come over to this side. I will bake cookies. I will shave your head if you want me to, depending on how this turns out, do a little more trimming. Bro, I have to rewind to this one part. There was a. I'm gonna try and grow it out anymore. I'm not gonna style it anymore. Fucking done. I will not be giving my money to the beauty industry anymore. I will not be giving. I know what I wanted to say about that. If you really want to do something, shave your eyebrows. Shaving your head, off, shaving your hair off, no big deal. You're not really making a statement. You're really not. I don't know where this came from giving my money to anyone that helps support misogyny and the patriarchy and keeping women down and making women think that we need to look a certain way or be a certain way or fuck you. Fuck you. Women, fucking stop dating. Why do they have to sing songy their rage? Dating men, stop having sex with men. Stop talking to men. Divorce your husbands. Leave your fucking boyfriends. Leave them. They don't give a shit about you. And I promise you, come over to this side. I will bake cookies. I will shave your head if you want me to. Lady, I am married. I've been married for a long time. I'm in a very healthy relationship with a man. He loves me. He cares about me. I don't know where you're, where you're coming from. Where does she get this idea about Trump? Oh, I know where she gets this idea about Trump. 
from the leftist media, from the state media. They have told these people that Trump is a Hitler, is he, that people that follow him are Nazis, and this is what you get. Depending on how this turns out, do a little more trimming before we buzz it. Where is my chop it? Up my hair before. It's like, oh, don't cut your own hair. All right. When people tell me I can't do something, I want to fucking do it. Just entering my middle aged mom era. So that's it. Wow. I don't even know what to say. Except she's given people like me who have alopecia a bad name. Oh my gosh. Like I said, I have never been embarrassed to go out like this, but I am now. Y'all, if you see me out in public, I'm not an I'm not I'm not a nutty liberal. I promise. And I do hope that she is okay. I really do. I hope she settles down and realizes that nothing bad is going to happen. No one is going to come around her up. She can still, wherever she lives, she, I don't even want to talk about what she can still do. She, if she, well, she's not going to get pregnant because she's not going to have sex. So she won't have to worry about abortions. So uh, my advice to her is to stop watching CNN, MSNBC or whatever that's NBC, ABC, CBS, get a hobby and get off get don't don't go online don't watch the news <laughs> or watch the different kind of news or something i don't know but the media is lying to you do your own research that's where you know people talk about the bible all the time but people they'll only listen to other people and get all kinds of wrong information instead of going to the word for themselves and reading it for themselves and learning for themselves. Same thing with the news. Stop believing everything you hear and read it and go do your own research. If it's a specific topic, I know it's overwhelming. Start with one little thing. All right, I have to go. I don't want to keep you all here any longer, but um, thanks for watching. My goodness gracious.